So a lot of people rely on this idea of charging order protection for their Wyoming LLC. It's basically having all their eggs in that basket, in that charging order basket. And it has been thought, it has been believed that having that charging order exclusive remedy is going to save you from having to pay that creditor. And the idea has been, fine, if you're gonna take my distributions, I won't make any distributions. And I will do other things that aren't distributions. For example, people talk about, well, I'll take a loan out of the LLC. I'll get paid, paid that way. Or I'm gonna pay myself a salary to work as the manager or the president or whatever that is. Is a judge gonna be okay with that, Colin? That's the thing. The, the creditors that are coming after you or coming after your LLC, they are not dumb. They have figured out that people they're are- They're smart just like you. They're, they're looking at those loopholes and they are finding ways to close it. And so any decent creditor attorney is just going to the judge and saying, hey, we want all money to not come out of here. Basically, anything that comes out is going to be a distribution. It's going to be something that we can grab. So the LLC is frozen? So essentially, your charging order protection is just freezing everything in your LLC. There's no distributions coming out. If you weren't getting a salary before, you're not getting a salary now. Loans are going to be blocked. Basically, courts are seeing around uh, those loopholes. And basically what you're doing is you are shutting down your LLC. And another thing, people believe that they have this leverage in that um, that creditor with that charging order is going to be have to pay taxes on any amount of uh, revenue that is coming to the LLC. And that is false. False? False, Shreya. The IRS cleared up. They said, if you just have a charging order lien, you are not responsible for the taxes. The owner of the LLC is still going to be responsible for any taxes. Oh. So if you think that... That is a negative. Yeah, so... If you think, I forget what it's called, like ghost taxes, ghost income. If you think you're going to scare away your creditor and make them not want to hang on to that charging order forever, you are wrong. They don't care. They're not going to be paying taxes. That's not going to be a new burden for them. It's not going to give you that leverage to make them go away. A sobering reality, Shreya. What do you think? I think it's terrible. Speechless. Yeah. Speechless. You know, I think that maybe people should look at some other options then. If that is their only way of protecting themselves, maybe they should have another option in their pocket. It's good advice. Themselves. Sage advice, Shreya. Yeah. Because just relying on that charging order protection is putting all your eggs in one basket, it's relying on one tool to protect you, to protect what's in that LLC, rental income, your mm -hmm. future, your investments, all of that, um, that charging order, exclusive charging order protection is probably not giving you the protection that you think it is. Questions, comments, leave them below. Be sure to subscribe.